want to thank Howie Mandel for making me watch Deal or No Deal last night. Nothing happened, and I had to go to bed late. Opie. Entertainment or no entertainment? What did you choose, Opie? No entertainment. It was all right, actually. Was it? Yeah, it was all right. It was their uh, season finale. I thought it would be a little more exciting than staring at Celine Dion, who was watching the action on a big screen from Vegas. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no. <laughs> wait till you. I, wait, wait, I saw a see, clip. We got, we I saw got a clip <laughs> of, of a promo for that show, and, and I did see Celine. I thought... I thought it was something uh, like I was sleeping or dreaming. No. I saw Celine on a giant screen like 1984 no. addressing the people. Now stick with us today, people. We're all over the ball field. All over the field, and I can't. And speaking of ball field, I fell asleep, and I had Yankee tickets. I'm pissed at myself. You want to hear Celine Dion real fast? Please. Oh, God, do I want to hear Celine. Is it, as, is it as fun as when she was on CNN talking about the hurricane down in New Orleans, and she said, give those people kayaks? Well, you know, deal or no deal, sure. Howard Mandel. It's the five million dollar grand finale where you could possibly pick a briefcase that has five million dollars in it. Ooh. And uh, the contestant was a big Celine Dion fan. And out of nowhere, Celine Dion appears on this huge screen and starts singing with the broad because they told the broad to start singing Celine Dion. Why? And then Celine Dion, for the next hour, just sat there on this large screen, just rooting her on, watching with, the show with her fist clenched, and she would do some gestures like, "Oh my God! Oh my God!" Is she going to oh, take the deal? This is she going to take the deal? I would take the deal. Would you? It was so <laughs> stupid. But anyway, here's Celine Dion making her entrance on Deal or No Deal last night. Go ahead, Casey. Okay. Sing to him. Look at him. Focus on him. Okay. And start singing. Oh, boy. Who are you, Big Banker? Oh. You were my strength when I was weak. You were my when I couldn't be So the big surprise Is that what I'm looking for? You saw the best You were there my was. strength When I was weak Celine, everybody! And then she was just on the screen for the rest of the show. Hasn't she had enough of Deal or No Deal with that stupid fat husband of hers losing <laughs> everything they own in Vegas? <laughs> <laughs> really? Maybe she shouldn't be on a show that's about gambling. That's right. <laughs> You're so right, Jimmy. That stupid fat he is just gambling with all her earnings. <laughs> she should have played pedo or no pedo. She's stuck. How in old was she when they hooked up? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> like 13 and she was a... Uh, he was her uh, manager or something? She's stuck in Vegas for 10 years because of his gambling habits. <laughs> because of Rene. My husband, Rene. That is great. I was 19 when he went through prostate cancer. <laughs> Were you? <laughs> Jesus. Me and Rene are now trying to have children. With was, his raisins. I was eight when he started losing his hair. <laughs> that was wonderful. You know, I had worked for him when I was singing at nine years old. And he would take a special interest in me. Oh, I bet he did. <laughs> yeah, he sure did. And <clears throat> my heart will go on long after his stops beating. Because he is 72. <laughs> we hooked up. I remember I was playing with my Barbie and he was gambling at the roulette table. <laughs> Generous creep with a creepy girl. old guy. Hi, I'm Renee. Who are you? I am Celine. I'm 12. Marry me. I'm a creep. <laughs> oh. Faggy little hyphen over the top of the second E. Oh, Ren, Rene. Uh, yeah. Why don't they yeah. help those people down there in New Orleans? They just want to touch the big screen televisions. Get a kayak and bust through those walls. You add a touched buffoon. <laughs> you idiot. She should have come out singing and just thrown feces at Howie Mandel and watch him writhe on the floor. <laughs> Here's our favorite uh, Celine Dion clip of all time. Infection or no infection, <laughs> you germaphobe. <laughs> Here's uh, Celine Dion on Larry King talking about the uh, the victims of Hurricane Katrina down listen there in to, New Orleans. Listen to this out-of-touch idiot. This must have been the bottom of the barrel of p experts to get. Let's see. All right, here it is. 
You know, when, when I was hearing a couple of days ago that these things are not reachable, it's too full of water. Maybe I'm too much like my... I'm not thinking with my head. Like an idiot? I'm talking with my heart. Nobody can open any roofs. Did the helicopter's you... flying in. Take two people at a time. Take a kayak. <laughs> Go into those walls. There's kids being raped at night. <laughs> we hear gunshots. Big guns. What? My that? managers. Those people are crazy. They're <laughs> like this. Hello. Do you see us? We're still alive. But we're dying. Who's this? Is we stuff? Skinny white broad. Money. <laughs> wow, Larry had nothing to say. Larry just went like, ah. But does he ever have something hey, to say? Hey, she's losing her mind on my show. This is fantastic. Right. The, uh, can they open the roofs? These are not sardines, you stupid whore. <laughs> <laughs> They're shacks. And what have you been watching? Like, uh, when this was happening... <laughs> Uh, they were opening roofs and pulling people out. And I believe they were taking more than two at a time in the helicopter. <laughs> Not, sorry, your copter fits too as they copter you in for your shows. But uh, believe me, they were doing two at a time. And what's a kayak going to do, you idiot? <laughs> kayak you knock or the no walls kayak. Down. Knock the walls down with the kayak. Let the building collapse on the darky. <laughs> <laughs> and then... Uh... And then, out of touch, idiot. Listen to this one and this uh, Celine Dion clip from the same interview. You know, some people are stealing and they're making a big deal out of it. Oh, they're stealing 20 pair of jeans or they're stealing television sets. Who cares? They're not going to go too far with it. Maybe Store these honor. people are so poor. Some of the people who do that, they're so poor. They've never touched anything in their lives. Let them touch those things for once. <laughs> She could be the dumbest person I've ever heard, ever, ever. They just want to touch him. Why don't you lay on your back? A lot of them have never touched a white girl either. Why don't you head to the Superdome back then? <laughs> yeah, you should have went to the Superdome. With a tub of lard, literally. <laughs> they just want to touch Celine. They just, could you not touch? Hey, help! <laughs> oh, wow. As they throw her off the rafters and laugh at her. She would have looked like a deflated doll. Oh, she does. Well, listen, one more clip. Uh, so she's on Deal or No Deal last night, uh, rooting on the contestant from a large screen. She couldn't even, uh, you know, really make the effort and maybe be in studio live. <laughs> Stacey, honey, I think you are doing so well. I just want you to know, first of all, I am holding my pension for you. I've got this microphone thing, too. Some pencil or something? A pencil behind you. We're in your all eyes. Tonight. And can I say, Howie, i got to tell you something. I've been dying since I started to watch that show. First of all, I've been dying to say so much. Hi, Howie. Uh. Let me tell you something else. I would like to invite Katie and her family to come back to Vegas to see the show again. And maybe I can send an article with that for you. Oh, God bless her. Isn't she just the greatest? Yeah. Uh, Daniel, Texas, what's up? Hey, man, that uh, chick that was on that show last night, her husband was so gay, man. He started crying when Celine Dion came out there. <laughs> he had really? Little, uh, he like had a blue or green pastel colored shirt. He was a little pink towel, man. Come on. Well, we got a clip of the husband here. Uh, yeah. Listen what, he, listen what he says in the middle of Deal or No Deal. Anyway, worst case scenario, we're going to see Celine. <laughs> worst case scenario. Did he hear that? Worst case scenario, we're going to go see Celine. Well, that's kind of funny when you think about it. It's like worst case scenario, you know, if we have to. <laughs> no, I think he's pretty excited to see Celine yeah. Dion. That's that's a little creepy. Ugh, Who, what guy would be excited to uh, see Celine Dion? You would go because you have Still no thinking. choice. Do I want $5 million in a case, or do I want to watch her sing that song over and over again? Oh. Near, far, wherever you are. Sit there just wanting to throw something at her. I like that song.